little wheel here. Some decent curb damage on it. Nice chunks taken out of that. Pretty much all the way around. Obviously not everybody's got a compressor at home, but something everybody does have is a cordless drill. So I'm going to show you a cool little trick to uh, hopefully get rid of all this curb damage. So this is any old drill, it's nothing fancy, it's not an expensive one, it's not a particularly good expensive brand, it's just something I picked up cheap, just for DIY use really, but when you put this on, it's a backing pad with a little adapter on it. See that? So now this enables us to attach uh, some sanding pads, sanding discs, to this. So we'll give it a go. Okay, so it's quite deep curb damage. So I think what we'll use is a 120 grit sanding disc. And this is a 77 mil backing plate. Okay, so just literally just stick that to there um, and then we'll have a go at sanding it out. You see that? It's doing a pretty good job of taking that out. If you've got really deep curb damage then it might be worth stepping up to an 80 disc. So I'll just demonstrate that. Let's took all that damage out, look. Okay, next one we're going over everything we're 180.
then what I like to do as a last step before paint is some 600 wet and dry and some water and then we're just going to spray a bit on there and we're just going to flat all this down more water remember we're feathering all this this out you see so there's no edges when we come to paint it it's all nice and smooth and flat Okay, I think that's it. Get all the wipe down. So that's probably took us about what 15 minutes, 20 minutes, and it was quite bad. So you can see all the curb damage is gone. that wheel's prepped in no time at all rubbing that down by hand and filler and messy products there's no need for it just grind it down with a drill I just think that's a dead handy little video that just your normal home cordless drill with one of these attachments on it just comes straight off look it's one of them we a backing plate and also if you haven't got these little discs at home but you've got some other sandpaper at home or you've only got big discs you can always cut them down so just stick that on there either with a little blade or a Stanley knife there you go probably get three out of that yeah there's another one on there as well so that's it just a little tip for everybody I know everybody's not got all the professional tools at home and compressors and stuff you can now prime that you can rattle can it you can use it with a compressor an airline and a gun it's a uh, it's ready for paint. It's all painted up, I'll just show you the finished result. All done with a drill, what you can do at home. Hope that helps.